Hello, welcome to Experts Exchange. My name is Joe Kelly. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating an entitlement within VMware's vCloud Automation Center 6. So here we are. We're going to log into the engineering tenant as administrator at corp.ratform.com. And contrary to where we've existed uh, for most of these tutorials, we're going to move from the engineering tab over to the administration tab. And it's within here under catalog management that we're able to create entitlements. Now prior to creating this entitlement, we need to make sure that that catalog item, which we, when we created that blueprint in previous lessons and we published it, that made it, that act, that action made it available within the catalog items. So we need to make sure this Windows 2008 is associated, not only active with, within the catalog, but we want to also make sure that it's associated with a service. Now a service just allows us to categorize specific catalog items to the service that they're providing. So in this case I've created two services, one called IaaS services and one called advanced services. IaaS will be purely for machine deployment, advanced services would be uh, more for upper level uh, type services such as uh, application uh, layering and services of that nature. So we're going to make sure that this uh, this catalog uh, item, the Windows 2008 Blueprint, is associated with the IaaS services, and we're going to make sure it's active. By default, it's not associated with the service, so I've already defined this and associated with the IaaS services, but by, out of the box, once we publish the Blueprint, it would not be, so you would need to do that. So we'll hit Update. So now if I go into Services and go to IaaS services, I can see that uh, that this particular actually let me go to manage catalog services items I can see that this that particular catalog item is associated with the IS services now I can go to entitlements and go to engineering so you, you can see that I have two entitlements here one for engineering and one for finance uh, the funny thing about entitlements is once you create them you can't delete them within the interface as far as I know so I've got a finance here one that's associated with the business group engineering obviously that would need, need to be associated with a finance business group if I had one created uh, but in particular here I'm gonna go to the engineering business group and entitlement and I'll go to actions I go to edit and here I will do a number of things I will make sure that the uh, that the users and groups that I'm defining that have access to this blueprint are defined over here on the right now I've already given it a name of course uh, by going into this and uh, the status should be active and I can go in and I can say alright with it, users within this business group engineering who do I want to give access well here I've given access to administrator at corp.ratform then we'll hit next and I'll go over to entitled services or catalog items and actions if I want to define those as well if I want to give a user just access to all the services that exist within IS services I can go here then I can go in and select the individual service, hit OK, and then update. And then I'm good to go. Once I do that, then that item, uh, that particular blueprint, Windows 2008, should be available within the catalog for this particular user. And there we go. It's available. So now at this point, I can go in and I can request a VM to be deployed off of that uh, Windows 2008 blueprint that I created in previous tutorials. So that's it for this lesson. That is how you create a blueprint within VCAC 6. Thank you very much for listening.